hi there. Um, I don't know who I am. I don't even know where I come from. But, uh, most people just call me The Knight, I guess? And welcome to The Knight Plays Hollow Knight. This is a new series on, uh, whoever this guy's channel is. I think his name is Kaiser? Um, I have no idea what I'm doing here, to be honest with you. I'm just here, sitting in this weird chair with this thing in my hands. What is this? Some sort of remote or something? I don't know. But, uh, I'm gonna sit down here and play this and... Whoa. Okay. Uh... Seems like somebody already played it. Don't know why, it's 101% 30, 35H. What the frick does that mean? Uh, well, whatever, uh, new game, I suppose. Uh, okay, what's this? Uh, okay, just whatever with that. Uh, that's fine. Okay, uh, yeah. What the heck am I doing here? In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls. Yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch, you taught, we changed, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy of Hollow Nest by Monocon, Monomon the Teacher. Okay, so we're getting artsy fartsy right out of the gate. Alright, okay, I see chains. I see a thing wrapped up in the chains. Guess someone's really into some freaky stuff. Okay, got some weird bug eyes. Uh, whoa, there's a glow. What's the glow? What? What is that? What? Whoa. Okay, things are glowing. Uh, it's breaking. Uh, huh? I'm confused. Okay, uh, there are three masks apparently in some sort of like cocoon-looking thing. What in the world am I looking at? This is surreal. Okay. Okay, now I see lights. Uh, oh, that's me. Uh, hi. I guess this is who I am. And I'm wandering. Wandering somewhere. I guess to this hollow nest that the elegy talked about. Pretty lights. Huh. Okay. I got stubby little legs, don't I? Look at them stubs. Wow. I really need to figure out what I'm doing here. I need to fix my nail. It's, like, cracking. Hopefully there's a blacksmith in wherever I'm going. Here we go! <sighs> Alright. So, let's see where we end up. And I'm falling. Really falling. Holy crap, that's a long way down. How did I not break my legs? Okay. So, I'm in a place. Uh, I got my little nubs walking. Uh, okay, I can jump. What else can I do? Can I... Okay, I got my little nail thingy here. I'm slicing. Slicing, dicing. That's good. Breaking down doors, apparently. A game by Team Cherry. Okay, I guess I'm gonna be very cherry to play this game, huh? That's a joke. Ladies and gentlemen, I try with the jokes. I'm not that good at them. William Pellin. Whoever you are, uh, thank you for helping- Ow! Hey! Back off, little bug! Well, I mean, can't really call it a little bug if I myself am a bug. That's a bit contradictory. Sound and score by Christopher Larkin. Well, I mean, the music's nice, so thank you, Mr. Larkin. Oh, okay, get on the platform, mister. Okay, here we go. Up, up, and up. Okay, so, whoa. Okay, glad that didn't fall on my head. What's this? Inspect. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul, and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough souls collected, hold B to so Oh, so I can just do this? Oh! It's like the damage never even happened. Awesome. I'm immortal! I am invincible! You can hurt me all you want, I'll just get my health back. Ha <laughs> ha! You can never kill me! Whoa. Uh, those spikes probably could. Better not step in those. Okay, so we got all sorts of weird looking bugs. We got bugs that are like- OW! Freaking stalactites! Uh, hold on. Gotta fix that. Uh, there, see? Like it never even happened. Picking up these weird, like, rock for- OW! Right in the spikes. Should have been more careful of where I was landing. Okay, forget that. Let's just go up. All right, whoa, hello. Creeper. Whoa! Can I not fall? Oh, I say it, then I do it. Okay, just freaking climb up the darn thing. Okay, making my way up. What? Uh, blue butterflies and a blue sack. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna... Whoa, what the... Um... 
Now I've got blue mask icon thingies up at the top. Ow! Hey! Back off! Okay, so I lost one. Okay, so is that like temporary health or something? I guess. Whoa, whoa! Okay! Can I just have a leisurely stroll through wherever the frick I am? Seriously! It okay. I hit the button to jump. Why did it not jump? I, I was jumping. I don't know if you saw, but I did jump! <sighs> Whatever. That. There's something down here. I saw a thing. There's something here. What's over here? Ooh, a secret. And a butt ton of spikes! Can I make that? Nope. No way. If I tried to jump that, I would end up impaled and probably lose my head. Last thing I want. Okay. So what do we got here? Higher beings, these words are... Okay, with this stuff again. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. What if I don't wanna? What if I wanna make my own rules? Bear witness to the last and only civilization. The eternal kingdom, Hollow Nest. Okay, so we are going to Hollow Nest. Whatever. Okay, whoa. That's a big door. Can I break it with this thing? Okay, apparently I can. I'm breaking down a door with a nail. How in the world am I doing this? Well, that door wasn't so strong. All right. Really? I gotta jump down there? You're really gonna make me jump this, aren't you? Okay. Here we go! And I'm falling. How do I not die from jumping such great distances? Seriously. It's a bit ridiculous to me. All right, so where is this hollow... Why am I going slower? Okay. Dirt Mouth. The Fading Town. Okay. It's a weird name. Hey, mister, can you tell me where I am? Oh there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be, there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth. Glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. I just wanted to know where the heck I am. I didn't need this dramatic spiel. At least there's a bench I can sit at. All right, so let's see. Uh, I got an empty mask slot, uh, an empty something slot, I've got the focus thingy, and I've got my old nail. And 60 Geo, the currency of Hollowness, made from fossils, shells of various forms. Am I carrying around corpses? Is that what that is? That's freaky. Alright, what's over here? For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Iselda and Cornifer. Okay, so this is a mask, sh uh, mask map shop. Gotcha. Cool. Map shop. Remember that. Okay, falling down into a well. Okay, uh, where in the... Okay, Forgotten Crossroads. Well, this is certainly something to behold. What are these, all these little bugs? I mean, are they my kind of species, or are they more feral in nature? I don't know what these things are. Okay, now we got flying ones with really big snouts, so I guess I'm gonna slice these things up. Hey, get back here! Get down here! Get down here! I want to cut you! I will cut you! See? I told you. I will cut you. I will cut you too! Get over here! Me. Okay, what's over here? What? Okay, I hear someone crying. Who's crying? Who's in trouble? Who's in danger? I'm gonna find you. Oh, it's that guy. He's got a mustache? Is that a mustache? I don't know. It looks weird. I wonder what's wrong with him. He seems sad. I want to help him, but I don't know how. I mean, he won't talk to me, so, uh... Mister? I don't know how I'm gonna help you, but I'll do what I can, I guess. Alright, moving on. Now then. Oh, you again! Get over here. I will cut you. I will slice you down with this nail, which... In all honesty, how does a nail slice? How is this thing a sword? Nails are pointy at the tip. This shouldn't be cutting. This should be more poking! Ow! You! Ow! Okay, you know what? Nah. You suck, you little bug bastard. Nah. Go away. Go away. I want nothing to do with you. Ugh. These guys are annoying. 
Do I have to fight all these things all the time? And if so, this is gonna be a very busy Sunday. Ugh. Wait, what the? I hear humming. Who is humming? Here, I see pages. Oh, whoa, who is that? Looks like an anteater. Is he drawing something or writing? What's who? Who are you? Hmm? Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? <laughs> Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Uh, yeah, a map would be useful in this situation, so fork it over. Here, have some of these fossilized thingies. Okay, I've got a map now. If I hold this, I can view a map of the area. Sweet! Cool. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not a head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Iselda. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. So that's the mark of a good marriage right there, when you and your lover can look forward to seeing each other after a long day. Still, got a map now. Awesome. All right, so this is the Forgotten Crossroads. Uh, I don't see myself on this thing. I mean, how could I? I don't have a compass. I need a compass. You know what? I'm going to go back to town to get one. All right, so got to climb my way back up. Hmm, based on the architecture, I think I'm over here on the left side, so getting back shouldn't take too long, I don't think. I mean, I've still got to climb up, so got to deal with a lot of these annoying little wall crawlers. I don't know, I'm going to call them wall crawlers, and these things I'm going to call f um, tube noses. Tube noses and wall crawlers, that's what I got to deal with. Really annoying, in all honesty. I mean, they're fun, and they're kind of cool to slice up, but not really much of a challenge. I need something more challenging. Alright, now these guys, uh, they're pretty much the same as the wall crawlers, only they're on the ground, so ground crawlers? I don't know. Slice you. Cut you down. What? Okay, who's that guy? Hello? Who are you? Whoa! Okay, hey, no grabby hands! No touchy! No touchy! I told you, no touchy. Yet yeah, you touched me anyway. Or tried to, but I cut you down like the fool that you are. Okay. Uh, whoa! Okay, there is a worm in a glass jar. I don't enjoy seeing him trapped. I want to help him. I, I can't reach you! Hold on, I'm gonna try that again. Yeah! Yeah! Darn it. <sighs> okay. Gotta figure out how to get to him later. But uh, for now, moving on. Alright, so where am I now? Right? And nope, no grabby hands. Nope. Go away, grabby hands. Don't like you. Uh, who is that guy? Wait, whoa, okay. Uh, he's a jumper. And he likes to kick. Or punch. Okay, so one jump punch man. Uh, okay, so we got a rhino bug. Uh, he looks like a freaking beetle, so beetle man. Beetle man and one jump man. Uh, I I'm just trying to come up with names for these guys because I don't know if they have names, but uh, I'm working with what I got here. Uh, this place is weird. Man, I was- Ow! Hey, back off. Uh, hold on a minute. Uh, let's heal up. There we go. Uh, much better. It's like it didn't even happen. All right, watch out for the spikes. Whoa, and the stalactites falling from the freaking ceiling. Okay, these guys, what do I call these things that are just flying down? Uh, flying chompers, I guess. Okay, I really don't know the names of these things. I'm just kind of making my way down deeper into the abyss of this place. I don't know where I am. Should have gone back to town. I was going back to town, but then I got sidetracked there was another path, and oh boy, am I lost. I definitely need a compass. Okay, so let's go this way. Let's see what's over here. All right, there's another one of those rhino bugs, or beetle bugs, beetle man. Don't care. You're dead. You are a corpse. And now I got another one of those grabby hands. Go away, grabby hands. Bad touch. Don't like your bad touch. Go away. Okay. Forward. Go away, grabby hands. Don't like you. Okay. So where am I exactly? I know I'm in Hollow Nest or the Forgotten Ruins, but whoa. What is this? Let's take a look. Huh. Temple of the Black Egg. Oh, who's this guy? He's got a... Okay, he's got a big nail. Gotta be careful. He's not deadly, is he? Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've a strong look about you. Short? Did you just call me short? Listen here. 
If you insult me again, I will take this nail and I will shove it so far up your spine you won't be feeling your back for a week. I will cut you. Do not make that mistake. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. The ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. You mean this weird egg sack looking thing with the three masks in it? A great stone egg, lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom, and this egg... Is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Unique air? I had no idea that there was such a thing as unique air. I know there's regular air that we breathe every day, but unique air, oh, that sounds fancy. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery. And who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. Yeah, the last thing I want to do is go deeper in this place, but apparently that's what I gotta do. What else is in here before I pop off? Nope, nothing else. Okay, so we got a big old egg with three masks in it. And apparently the deeper we go, the more we can uncover the mysteries of this place. There are plenty of those, I'm sure. Still, do I want to solve them? I don't even know who I am. I don't even have a name. So, uh, I guess to whoever is, I don't know, watching this, that's what you humans do, I suppose. Uh, to whoever is watching this, I guess, uh, what name would you give to me? You know, this little bug, what would be my name? I will leave it up to you guys to decide, and whatever you decide, I shall give myself that name. But please, something dignified. Nothing too vulgar, or whatever. Anyways, uh, let's go into this place, it's now open. Okay, that- oh, that must be a Zelda. Bafanada. Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise! He headed down below. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I have not much interest in retail myself. Now, let's see what's here for me to sell. Well, she certainly seems like she doesn't enjoy her job. Alright, so we got all sorts of icons and stuff. Stuff. They're pretty expensive, though. Wow! Okay, I only got a hundred geo. Uh, I gotta really sift through this stuff. Right. Cocoon pins, uh, vendor pins, uh, hot spring pins. Ooh, hot springs? I could use a relaxing break. A scarab marker. These markers are new additions to the shop. You can use them to mark your spots. Hey, okay, shell markers. Okay, so all these are, like, things that just appear on the map. Hmm. A quill. You need this if you want to explore. Hmm, I'm gonna come back with 6 Geo and buy that quill. Seems like a nice, a good thing to start with. Actually, it'd be a good investment to buy a few things from that shop now I think about it. Hmm. Definitely gonna need markers and pins and stuff. That way I can out keep track of things. Uh, I also saw a compass for 200 Geo. That's a pretty hefty price. But definitely gonna need quite a few things from the shop. I need to slay a lot of these things, now I think about it, just to get all the necessary geo. Ugh. The only problem is, whenever I kill anything, the geo just falls away! Get back here! Ugh. This is gonna be a while, it seems. Mm. Now, why did I even bother coming here in the first place? I was just doing just fine, wandering around, you know, a little clueless, but, you know, I had a good life. You know, I was just enjoying myself, wandering the wilderness, making it work. Didn't need all this existential drama. Whoa. Okay, I see some green. What's the green? Where's this lead? Alright, let's see. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hallownest descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. Uh, wishes, huh? You know what I wish? Wish I had a bigger sword, I was taller, and I wish I was filthy stinking rich. Give me the money! Or give me all the geo. Whatever. Okay, whoa! Okay, whoa! Alright, big guy! Uh, what the? Okay, I can't hit you. Do I have to hit that back? No, that's not how I hit you. Okay, I cannot do anything against you. Why are you cowering and hiding? Fight me, fool! You are no warrior. You are a coward. Alright, maybe I have to hit the right one? No, that's not it. You just keep spitting stuff. What a wimp. I have no time for you and your wimpy antics. But to be fair, if I had projectiles, I'd probably spam it like that too. Ow! Okay, these guys are getting on my nerves. Seriously, really annoying little bastards, aren't they? Ah, <sighs> yellup. 
two, three. Much better. You know, I didn't travel past where the map maker was. And he is still there, so. No? Alright, let's go further down. Okay, I see lots of spikes. Be careful over there. Huh. Let's see. Oh, whoa, what the. What was that in the. What's that in the background? Whoa, whoa, okay. Uh, ow! Don't like them. Nope. Definitely don't like them. Okay, gotta be careful. Gotta watch where I jump and make sure not to get eaten by those weird spiky teeth worm thingies. Whatever they are. Creepy. I don't know what they are, but they're, they're disgusting. That thing has a fat butt. I'm scared of what'll happen if I kill it. Oh, it just... It, it's fat butt versus those little ones. I give a lot of geo, so that's nice. Maybe I'll be able to buy that compass. Whoa! Uh, oh! At least I freed you. Uh, you're welcome, I suppose? Okay, I freed a worm from a glass jar. I feel accomplished? I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel. I mean, I feel okay, but, I mean, wh what good's the worm? What? Ow! What good's the worm? Okay, this worm. Nope. Okay. He does not die. He's strong. I need a stronger nail to cut that son of a biscuit. Huh. Alright, let me heal up. Health. There we go. Now I feel healthy again. Whoa, 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 okay. Falling spikes everywhere. Don't like that. No. Just no. Away with you, spikes. Away with you. Huh? There's a su- What the- Okay, I'm locked in a room. I'm locked in a room and there's a thing with a fat butt. Ow! And it spits at me. It spits at me. Okay, you are gonna die. I don't like you. Okay, no. Away with you. I am not having it today. Not a chance. Okay, now there's two of them. Great, they multiply when they die. No! Go away. I don't like you. Okay, that took care of them. Alright, what's over here? Is there something over here? I think there's a secret over here. No, there's no secret. But there's... Whoa! Okay, lots of money! Okay, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme! Give me the money! Give me the money! Give, give, give! Oh, I am filthy rich now. Very nice. Alright, 208. Probably afford that compass. Mmm, I'm a happy bug. All right, I'm gonna explore a little bit more and see what else I can. No, go away, go away. No, I do not approve of your existence. Oh, hot spring. Yes. Ah, much better. Ah, I feel relaxed. You know, it's nice to just kick back, let your feet just flow in the water. It's really something else. Relax the joints. Ah, okay, that's enough of that. All right, let's take a seat. All right, so I guess I'm somewhere down here. Don't know where, but soon I will, because I'm going to go get that compass. Either way, sitting down seems to save progress or something. I don't know. I'm going to be honest, I'm literally, you know, new to all this. Uh, I know that there's a mug, some skeletons, uh, a guy with a block for a head, a fuzzy guy, uh, some weird eccentric robot, uh, I don't know, is this normal for you guys? Is this all normal? I don't know, I was just kind of formed, so, uh, I'm kind of learning the ropes as I go, I suppose. I need a crash course in this place, it's weird. But, uh, uh hopefully you guys in the comments section, quote-unquote, can help a bug out, you know, give me the lowdown on where I am. You know, apparently this is Kaiser and the Voices, whatever that is. So, uh, a little lesson would be nice. I'd appreciate it, if possible. I hope you guys like me. Alright, anyways, more money. Give me more money. All of the money. All of it. Give me the Geo. <laughs> the more money I have, the better off I will be. Because, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Gotta get the cash. The more cash I have, the more resources I can buy. At the Whoa, I broke a wall. I broke a wall and I found a thing, which led to more money. Awesome! Give me more money. There's one thing I like, it's money. You give me money, I'll be a happy bug. Okay, gotta slice you. Give me that. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm getting more money as I fall because it's all falling to the ground. So, yay! I have 278 Geo. You know, why don't they just have cash, like, you know, dollars and stuff? Well, I mean, a bug's economy, whatever. Anyways, more money for me. Awesome. Is there anything else in here? Anything else I need? Nope. Let's jump down here. Uh, just leads to the uh, hot spring, so whatever. Uh, time to get out of here. And then go back up and get the compass, and I think that'll be it for today. I 
think it should be enough to suffice an episode, whatever that is. Hmm, is there anything on this side? Nope. All right, coming up. Nope, 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 up, up, and up and away! I like that I have a cape. I look awesome. I have a Ow! Hey! Taking away my awesome cape moment! Die. Okay, gotta be careful when I jump, because these guys will kill me if I'm not too careful. So, yeah. And I also got those things to worry about. They spit that orange stuff. Actually, I'm noticing it. A lot of these things, like, have this orange glow when they get hit. I wonder if that's relevant in any way, shape, or form. Actually, now I think about it. That worm, that green one from earlier. I wonder if that worm that was over here have any relation to it. Okay, so that's a yes. All right, so rescuing the worm did something. Awesome. Wait, whoa, whoa, oh! You, you gave me money. I, I like you. I will rescue more of your kind if this kindness continues. Because now I have 300 Geo. I'm very glad I saved you. Even though it was for a good cause, I got some benefits out of it in the pr long run. Awesome. If I find more of you, I shall rescue you. The payouts will be very nice. <laughs> very nice indeed. Okay. The more money I get, the better, because I can buy more resources. Beautiful. All right. I'm just going to skip over those enemies and go back up to Dirtmouth. Who comes up with names like this? Anyway, Dirtmouth. Who, who comes up with a name like that? That, that just, no. That sounds disgusting. The Fading Town. That is an awesome name. Why <sighs> Dirtmouth? Bafanada. All right. Whoa, okay, that's 220 Geo. Good thing I got that. Okay, costs a notch? What's a notch? What does that mean? I don't understand things. Collected a charm. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. Okay, open the charms menu while resting at a bench. All right, well, uh, thank you, Zelda, for selling me a compass. All right, I'm gonna go figure out how to equip this. Okay, so I can't run in towns, apparently. So I'm gonna rest. All right, to equip a charm. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, only have one slot? No, okay, I have two, apparently. Oh, it does it add an extra slot or something? Okay, so I have enough for one more skill, I guess. Huh. Okay, so that's a thing. Oh, might as well take a seat and uh, call this off, I suppose. So, um, if you're still watching this somehow, uh, thank you for getting all the way to the end of this nonsense. If you enjoyed it, uh, how does this go? Oh, wait, hold on. I got a script here. Uh, leave a like and a comment in the boxes. Ugh, yeah. Leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting me know your favorite moments from this episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and turn on all notifications so you know when... Oh, I am not saying that. So you know when this bug is traveling down deeper into the underground to get more money. And share this video around, because, yeah, I would appreciate it very much. I'm kind of new here, and uh, hopefully you guys like me. And with that said, this has been The Knight from The Hollow Nest, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.